my gosh, and girls, how you doing all today? Oh, actually, oh, god damn it. I don't know why. Why do I keep doing this all the time? Why do I keep having my picture of my daughter, of Lady Gaga, the fame monster, for some reason? Um, it, I mean, it's, it's. I don't know. I better not put that. I should really turn that hey, around. Do you, hey, do you like her or something? No, no, no. I mean, no, because I don't want to offend some of my uh, fans in thinking that uh, basically. I don't like smokers, but yet I support old Lady Gaga's uh, like music, and yet she starts smoking, and she's a smoker. So yet yeah, that would make me a hypocrite, would it not? I believe I th it. I think would. yeah, I think it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh well, no, that don't matter. Oh, do no, apologize. I mean I like her music. I'm, uh, do you apologise for your uh, supporters, please? Well, I would do, but I'm not a hypocrite. Because I do stand for justice and the justice of uh, smoking and I don't put that picture of Lady Gaga, the one on my wall there, for no reason at all, for uh, political th reasons, just to say, oh, I put that there just but to piss people off. It's really funny actually, but, <clears throat> because... You don't do it to offend people. No, I don't put it to offend people. But then people take to. I'll try to assault you and call you a bully, and you're not a bully, which is really funny. Yeah. No, I mean, just some people, I suppose, are just like mm. that. But then is, I mean, when I do videos for my YouTube channel, not everybody's going to like my videos, and I don't want everybody liking all my videos, not all of them. If there's people who likes my video, well, that's a bonus. Yeah. I mean, everybody's an individual at the end of the day. But when you've told them about smoking and all that, you've only told them through experience about what you've seen with your own dad. Yeah, and like, well, yeah, my dad uh, dying and all that. I mean... And you found his body. I was the one who found his body, I know. And, you were, and to be honest... You were only 17 years old. The reason... I don't like people smoking in the first place is because, right, of all the toxins in the world, people just, like, stand there next to you at Sainsbury's when you're just getting your food shopping. And, because and then because people are smoking there, you've seen it's your contaminating dad. all the food. You've seen your dad in so much pain. With thrombosis in both his legs, yep. all through cigarettes. And people just think it's a joke. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's not even 12 o'clock midnight well, yet. For so another people, I say, so 17 people, minutes. He wants to carry off smoking. Well, let them. Let them. Why not? Well, he thinks it's a joke. No, they think it's good for them. Just let them carry because on. Because that's why they keep on smoking. Yeah. But the thing is, I mean. Even if you have and then wipe her, and then it's, no, it's really funny, right? You know the really funny part of it is, is they say, oh, I don't, well, you shouldn't be doing that, because then is, oh, I don't like you doing these videos on that, so and they why said, not? and then, then they said, oh, why don't you do it and put it on another channel, uh, on another video channel? So why are they? But then is, yours? well, why are they coming on to watching this in the first place? I mean, if you don't like the video, then why are you watching like it? Like they say, if you don't like it, turn it off. And the thing is, they don't have to watch this video. I've got about fifteen to uh, 1,500 to 2,000 plus videos on my YouTube. Some okay. nice ones. I mean, I've got loads of nice videos. I've got some of the zoo. Why don't they just have a light-hearted uh, moment? And have a look at some of my ones where I went to the zoo. I mean, two, uh, two or three years or my carnival videos, aren't I? And have a take a chill pill or something. I mean, come on. If you think about it, I'm not forcing it to watch it. Oh. It's not like I'm holding a gun to their heads or a shotgun. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's it, right? That's it. I got a gun to your head. Oh, oh don't go on, do it. Go on. I'm gonna shoot you if you don't. Go on, watch my oh, YouTube please, channels. Don't watch do that. my YouTube channels now. I don't want to die on. yet. Oh well, if you don't want to die, well then you're gonna do it. You're gonna watch my two channels, and you're gonna watch my 
YouTube channels. I'll shoot ya. I mean it. I I do it. I do it. I'm not frightened. I'm not frightened. Right, that's it. I'll get the gun. Come on. Oh, Watch it. Come on. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, it's not like I'm literally holding a gun to the head. I mean, you guys and girls right there, you've got a mind of your own. Well, we say we say, we 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 think people have got a mind of their own. We, they've got everyone's got a brain, but it's whether you use that brain for good things. Oh, like your half brother. Oh well, I can't say about it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, it's like people. You got a brain. You know how to use it. But sometimes, when you're having cigarettes or you're having something chemically go and react to your brain cells, and then suddenly it's, in a way, it's kind of forcing you. It's holding you back to your full potential of being a human being. Anyway, your like brain cells are there in the first place. To have a clear mind. You've got a brain to think clearly. But when you start mixing in these toxins. I mean it's like with the government for instance. About all these needles they give babies at the start. When they're like two years old or something. Or less than that. When about six born. months. When they're first born. I mean it makes you wonder how some babies heads get bigger and stuff and all of that. And they reckon it's to do with the needles, the injections, or in the parents. It gives them the parents first, and then they're born and all this way. Well, it's the chemicals. They go in there, they go and fuck up your brain cells and all that. But it's like me. I've got a brain. That is and why you, I... And that is why... No, that is why... Yeah, I've got a brain. But that's why I'm dieting, right? And I'm losing weight. Because I'm putting my brain to good use to it. I'm using my brains for a particular reason. To get healthier. Me, myself, I don't like smoking. There's people out there who do. Good for you. Hope you enjoy it. To a minimum state. But if you think about it... Well, they're trying to give you a cigarette and let you have a smoke in a puff. Uh, but you didn't like it, did you? No, no. My dad, um, when uh, he was alive at the time, a year has gone back, I was at um, a garage and he was getting his car fixed. Yeah, let me have a drag of his cigarette because I wanted ex experiments. You do experiments when you're kids and all that. Obviously, that's the part of uh, you developing your brain cells because you want to try them out. And you want to see what it's like as kids and all that. Uh, drugs, I wouldn't touch. Wouldn't touch that. Drugs, bad for you. You should never do that. Uh, can fuck your life up entirely. I've uh, got family members who are on drugs and all that. And it's fucking terrible. Um, and alcoholics uh, in the family. Fucking shitloads of alcoholics. I'm the only one in the family that's got a right, good, decent brain. I'm a mum. And my sisters. Well, my sisters, um, they're good. They're good. Sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. But, um, I love my sisters. Don't get me wrong. I love my sisters. I love my brothers. I love my mum. But sometimes the whole family can just, like, get into, like, make you crazy a little bit. Like, all the whole family does. But that's a part of you loving your family at the end of the day. So technically, we know what we're talking about. Because yeah, we know, because we've one, been... One has been on... Hey, no, 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 whatever, whatever. One on alcohol. No, no we've got family some... members of alcoholics, bloody drug addicts and all that. But we kind of adjust to it and all that. We kind of adjust to it and just let it... We let them do whatever they want. Let's do. They, you want, they want to do anything, let them do it. What can you do when they're what in their 40s? Yeah, what can you do when they're in their 40s or anything? And certainly you guys and girls out there are in your 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, uh, 15, you know, 18, 100 even. Uh, you do what your life want to do, right? If it makes you happy, just be happy. And do it. And just do it. My opinions on here don't really matter to any people who listen to this and who think this is bull crap and don't want to listen because everyone who thinks 
differently. You've all got your own opinions. That's fine. That's good. I love people with their own opinions. And sometimes their own opinions can be like an agenda to uh, rid the world of world total domination. But that's yours. That's you. That's you. If you want, uh, if you want to take over the world, if you want to try and bloody kill people and kill mass people, that is those people out there, sickos, and they should be stopped. But there's people out there who want to take drugs. Want to take drugs? Who want to take bloody alcohol? If you want to become alcoholics? If you want to smoke? Well, that's your lives. You fuck your own lives up and all that. You fuck your own lives up. But. Me, myself, I would rather stay alive until I'm about 80 to 100 and not have any health issues. That is why I am drinking this soya milk. And this has uh, what you call, it is, where is it? It's got... Uh, no non-GMOs. You know what that means? Non-GMOs is non-genetically modified. It's not modified. The government hasn't put chemicals in this. You know why chemicals are not put in this? Because that way people don't become sheep. Now there's a lot of you out there who become sheep to the society. And why have you become sheep to the society? Because you've just let it all slip beneath your fingers whether you're a drinker smoker a uh, drug addict or something and you've got addict, uh, an addiction of any sort you kind of the mindless sheep and you're getting forwarded by these sheep herders they're herding all the sheep up and in not many were so words if you want to be sheep for the rest of your lives, that's fine. That's fine. I've got no problem with sheep. But if you want to be the leaders and not the actual followers, it would rather be good to get rid of all your addictions. At least you'll be able to take control of your own lives rather than having something controlling your lives. That is what I'm trying to get out. I'm not bullying people into it. This is sort of like, uh, and person says, oh, you're just a, like a bully and all that. I'm not a bully. If I was a bully, I'd be going around beating the shit out of people and all that. Or like threatening them and go, oh, come here, you, I'm going to beat you. Oh, you God. know what it's like to be bullied. I know what it's like to be bullied, but then thing is, right, people should be wanting to be in my shoes and see how I feel every fucking uh, day in the mornings when I'm getting up or and I have to look after my other two brothers in the house. Anybody, I, I'd actually, I'd trade my health problems in, right, and my other two brothers in, just so I can have a proper fucking decent day to actually uh, myself. But I have to look after my other brother in there, who's uh, vulnerable, who's got severely, uh, is severely disabled, and in mind and all that, and then could end up kin people and stuff. Have Brother. And he's uh, well, my half brother. But then again, we're not. Uh, we don't actually know if he's actually my real brother, because there's always been there's been talks that his mum wasn't actually went out with a different bloke and stuff, and not dad. No, so she was married, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, well, so, yeah. So we don't know. So we don't know if he's my real man. brother or not. Okay, yeah. And you could say, "Yo, go and have a DNA test then." Oh well, one well, spend ninety pound on a fucking DNA test. You joking? Nah. Um, so I just leave him in there. Then we got like a, an alcoholic in the house. Yeah, he's your real brother. He was my real brother, yeah. But kind of like... It stuck with life, pretty much. And he does whatever he wants to do. Never talks to us, just stays in his room. But that's his life. He wants to do that, that's fine. Anyone wants to do anything else, that's fine. You want to smoke, you want to drink, you want to take drugs, that's your lives. But you end up fucking your own lives up. And like, but then you hear people who end up fucking their lives up. And then they afterwards, when they hit rock bottom, they want the help. Well then, what you decide to do, rather, right, rather than getting the National Health Service involved, right. Because I know what you guys and girls do. You end up going out 
night time, go for a drink with your buddies, have a fight, and then what do you do? Oh, you go to the accident and emergencies. Oh, I really don't need to go. I need to go down now. I've just got myself a bloke and broken nose. <laughs> oh, come on. Bloody hell, guys and girls. You're going out on a Saturday night and the fucking punch-ups? What do you expect? Do you expect actually the nurse to come up to you and go, Oh, I'll give me a hug. Oh, God. Do you know what the nurses and the doctors should do at the NHS, at the actual accident emergencies? Turn all you fuckers away. This is me, right? This is me, right? I've always been straight with all of you guys and girls out there. I love all of you. I definitely love all of you. But the thing is, when you put the National Health Service in fucking danger because you've got an addict, addictive um, addict, and they don't want the help, but yet they go out, take drugs, and then they get run over, or they run over by the cars and all that, and they accidentally kill someone. They oh. should be punished. Oh, and, and then they say, oh, it's not their fault because they're an addict, and because they're on drugs at the time. Well, they should be uh, punished for it. Oh. Yeah, they should. I mean, and, it's I mean if, you go to, if you go to the National Health Service and you've just got yourself plugged into the doctors, right? Yes, one time. Because that. you've just basically, no, because you basically, right, just got drunk, you've had a fight with a few friends of yours and you've a been beaten by... A few friends. Beaten. Okay, There's well, a man who's in his 50s, right? Hmm. He's been severely disabled. He, he can hardly walk, right? Because they sat on him years ago, right? Some people just sat on this man who was on his own, right, when he was mm. young. Yeah. And now he's disabled. Very sad. I know. And yet he was a really nice person. The thing is, I want to be straight with all you guys and girls out there. I'm being real here. I'm being realistic. I've seen fucking people in situations where people's lives are at stake and all that. I've seen... I saw, right... This was going back, a few years going back, me and my mum was walking in town, uh, down in the Western Supermare area, right, in the town centre. I saw this fucking bloke come up to this guy, right, and he was saying something to him. I they don't just know. walking down the road. He was just walking down the road. And this bloke came chasing, after him. chasing down with him for no obvious reason. And he goes... What are you chasing me for? What well, I haven't done anything to he said, you. I don't even know you. I don't you. even know you. Yeah, yeah. like that. I'm thinking, okay, so some random guy comes up to someone, right? Some random guy comes up to some people, right? And then just uh, states the obvious, like they want to try and pick a fight with. Come on, big boy, I'll take you on, gonna fucking take you off. Do you know what? People like that shouldn't know. I wouldn't say should be shot. No, no, because that's too horrible. They should be punished, right, for trying to start fights. Now, that's kind of bullying. That is bullying. Going up to people and starting fucking, like, you want to do something to them and all that and scare them and all that. Using scare tactics. I mean, is that the best you've got, is it? I mean, that one, doing that, that is called cowardism. You're like a coward. You just you try and pick on the little guys because they can't defend for themselves. But, yeah, anyway, guys and girls, I've been talking for about 18 minutes non-stop, 19 minutes, actually carrying on. But, I do want to get that out here. People who's addicts, right, you definitely need to be punished. Not, like, death or anything. I don't wish death on anybody. Helped. You need to be helped, but you also need to face the facts that if you're an addict, you need to... What's the word? Pay in another way, be punished, not by death. I wouldn't say fucking death. Yeah, not punished, help. Well, help, yeah, you do need help. But also you need to learn from your mistakes. Do not, like, take life for granted. Okay, life can be you. life can be fantastic. And then you have, like, people who's got depression, right, and... They really need the help. They've got these mental illnesses and they need help. And the only way people, right, are making that even worse by smoking cigarettes and then contracting the smoke to the people who's got mental health problems. And that's even worse because that can mess around with the brain cells even more. 
and that could turn them even worse because I've heard where people have like literally turned into serial killers because they've got mental health issues and all of that and it's not their own fault it's due to the fact their brains are unstable it's something to do with the serotonins um, serotonin um, like chemicals reacting to their brains and all that anyway guys and girls so I've been about 20 minutes now but and it is the yes the well actually it'd be the and third if you today. Don't want germs. The best thing to yeah, do. Yeah, if you don't want germs, yeah, just wear a fucking mask. Yeah, just like Mike Jackson used to yeah, do. Yeah, do a Michael he Jackson right special. Idea there. But anyway, this was really supposed to be turning into a fucking exercise video, but I've got two, and I'm wearing a sort of like sort of. It looks like a girdle, but it's not a fucking girdle. Um, this is like a stomach sort of like thing around my stomach. Uh, and I should leave it down and go for your next. Mm, well, at the moment, I could go for about, I'd say, another four minutes. And they can watch me for four minutes pumping my iron up. That's what I call it, pumping iron guys and girls. I mean, I was going to turn this video into an exercise video, but I had a, a couple of... Uh, and my, I would say, viewers or fans? Fans. Fans, yeah. Having a go at you. Yeah, having a go at me about cigarettes. But then is, it is, this needs you. to be said because my dad actually died due to uh, cigarettes and all this, like, uh, chemicals. And if it wasn't for the chemicals, my dad would be here right now. And he would be 80 almost. He'd be 79 this year. Yeah. Yeah, and so, he died 12 years ago. Yeah, he would have been, uh, yeah, he would have been 80 next year. So, shame. Yeah, shame. Sad. And you're coming up to 70, aren't you? 60. Oh, you lying bastard. <laughs> now you'll be 70 soon, won't you? I've got a few years yet before, what are you on about? And why I am doing all these exercise videos Right? It's because I am pumping iron. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, guys and girls. Like, the actual lines. Look at that. Oh, don't forget you've got a massive scar through your heart. Yeah, and I've got a fucking a scar right at the back. Where I used to have my, op well, where I had my operation. When you were three weeks when old. When I was three weeks old. Look at that scar in the back. I don't know if you can guys and can see it, but it goes right round here. If I stretch it out, there's a scar in a big massive one round the side. And the thing is, I'm actually getting fucking massive. Look at this, guys and girls. Look at that. Anyway, if you can understand where I'm coming from with uh, the sort of like cigarettes and how much I'm passionate in getting rid of cigarettes you will understand right I have lost family and friends to smoking cigarettes right and it's not uh, it's not funny at all I don't think it's funny I don't think you guys and girls would think it's funny if you lost one of your family members to uh, like either cancer or deep vein thrombosis and both legs and legs. blood clots and all this. I mean, it's fucking nasty shit. But I'm trying to do videos here to support my channel in helping people, right, before it's too late. And it's not it's not a bullying thing. If it was a bullying thing, right, there and would be there would be smoke. like, oh, don't do it. And if you catch... Don't do it if because you get, if you do, I'm going to kill you. But and if you no, get it's nothing like that. Think of the family member that's got to look after you when you're in some uh, way and you can't uh, work anymore. Uh, woo. One, two, three, four. I think on five. another video. Yeah, both of these together are around about 15 kg 
I so, think next time, another time, huh? you have to do exercise and get people to watch <sighs> you and do it at the same time as when <sighs> you do it. Yeah, do like a live thing. Yeah, yeah do like a, if I should do some live videos, do be, become a sort of like Mr. Motivator. That's right. Mr. Motivator. I don't know if you guys and girls remember Mr. Motivator. There we go, look at my big belly flopping all over the place, not my big fat and fat titties. My old titties going up and down. Mm. And as your fans, how many of them would like to watch you do it? And to yeah, do anyway, it guys and I girls. Also, while we're on to this, yeah, like my mum said, if uh, you would like to, for me to do a sort of live exercise video at some point. Let you know. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. And perhaps they can uh, join in with you. Yeah, perhaps you want to do like a sort of exercise sort of thing. I could come up with some routines, uh, say a 50 minute to an hour routines. And yeah, we could get fit together, guys and girls. Anyway. Uh, a half an hour. Yeah, well, half an hour. 45 minutes uh, warm up. Yeah, 45. 45 minute Woo. so I'm already getting my heart pumped up I'm getting fucking pumped I'm pumping myself with some iron yeah, it'd be quite cool actually if you could just get some actual iron and start injecting it and pumping yourself up with it you go, I get to the shower it is me Arnold come on do it you can do it it's me Arnold Woo. and then woo. <sighs> Yeah, and I start. Yeah, shame you can't do this, but a bit of jogging on the spot, man. I know, I know you can walk a little bit, but with I want one. Uh, yeah, with your frame. So maybe yeah, we could do a little of a life, a little life thing with both of us, couldn't we? You could just stand up, do some, move your legs, do some uh, exercise, and actually, when we get you down to seven stone, eh, you'll be able to do a, a jogging with me then. Yeah, my mum, when she reaches 70 years old, could put her in a marathon then, oh, for her oh. 70th. Yeah, I'll go and get you back onto your legs. We'll get that fucking spine of yours fixed, get a chiropractor to fix the bones. And, whoo! <sighs> anyway, guys and girls, cheers all for watching. Stay safe and peace out.